In this circuit of the past video, we'll show you where the lost Formula One circuit of Nivelle used to be in 2022. The Nivelle circuit hosted the Formula One Belgian Grand Prix in both 1972 and 1974, and both races were won by Emerson Fittipaldi. The Nivelle circuit opened in 1971 as a safer alternative to Spa Francorchamps, the old version. The circuit was designed by Dutchman John Hugenholtz, who also designed tracks like Suzuka, Harama, and the stadium section of Hockenheim. We're now approaching the first corner. The current road has been adjusted to the current traffic and doesn't follow the old corner. The corner was much slower and used to be where the parking is now, just in front of us. Nivelle was far ahead of its time when it came to safety, and that, among a few other reasons, was the reason why the circuit actually went into the history books as being classed as a, quote, flat and boring track. But that's actually not very fair. The layout did contain elevation changes and some very challenging corner combinations. And that's exactly where we are now. This fast double right-hander was very challenging. As you can see, the police had already expected Herman to arrive and had built in this temporary speed bump to slow him down. <laughs> watch that racing line and watch those fillings in your teeth. Another reason for its bad reputation is that the circuit was actually never truly finished. The design foresaw a much longer circuit, but because they couldn't bring up enough cash to buy the necessary land, they built a shorter 3.7 kilometer version of the track first. The intention was to expand the circuit later, but this was a huge miscalculation. Once the circuit was there, the landowners naturally wanted more money for their property, and so the Nivelle circuit was never actually finished at all. Sadly, that also meant that Nivelle had to close its doors after a lot of financial troubles in 1981, and today it's a business park. Parts of the roads follow the old track, but not here, so Herman continues by foot. Herman is the founder of the Circuits of the Past website and YouTube channel. His very first visit to any abandoned circuit at all was Nivelle back in 1998, and it's that that inspired him to start this project. He was just in time then, because it was shortly after his first two visits that they started to demolish the track at all. My name's Simon Smith, I do the voiceovers for Circuits of the Past videos, and run a gaming channel on YouTube called Higher Plane Games if you're interested. So. Here we are on the site where Turn 4 used to be. You can still see an open space between the trees, and that's exactly where the track would be. We're now on the other side of the trees. This is also where the Formula 1 track passed into the go-kart track. More about the kart track later. First Herman will show you where the short straight between Turns 4 and 5 used to be. Here was the kart track of Nivelle. In 1973 and 1980, the World Championship karting event was held here. And in 1980, Ayrton Senna competed here and came second behind Dutchman Peter de Bruin. One of the spectators was a young boy in the crowd from Germany, a certain guy called Michael Schumacher. Ah, how stars collide. Here Herman discovered some debris from the old track between the bushes. <laughs> Look what he's doing! I'm not sure if this should be a future geocache, or should you take it home and make it the first piece of the Circuits of the Past memorabilia store? <laughs> Answers on a postcard, or down in the comments. We're now on the site between where turns 5 and 6 used to be. This actually used to be a chicane before the back straight. Here on the small private parking was where the chicane began and then it continued up onto this empty grass field. Okie dokie, let's continue this journey by car, shall we? 
Oh, run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. <laughs> Probably thought Emerson Thittipaldi was back on track there. So, this is where the back straight used to be, and the new public road follows the old straight too. A few years ago, there was an original abandoned part of the track that was left for nature to reclaim. Now, sadly, they've expanded the business park here instead. Once again, we can't go further by car. It's actually illegal to continue by foot. If you've seen other videos here before... <laughs> That doesn't stop Herman. You see, the police do keep an eye on Herman from the air. <laughs> it's like a B-movie version of a Bond film. Alright, so here Herman continues the lap by foot on the <coughs> illegal <coughs> side of the fence, looking for the remains of the lost Nouvelle circuit. This appears to be the remnants of the circuit, but the road surface has clearly already been removed. As we've said before, the Nouvelle circuit closed in 1981. After that, it was used for illegal racing during the weekends. Often the police would come to break it up and close it down. So let's hope the police doesn't come here now. Well, if anyone's got PTSD from the last time Herman was here, <laughs> he's already encountered the police right on this section back in 2019. I definitely recommend you watching that video after this one. In 1998, the first work started here to start to change the abandoned track layout into a business park. The demolition started in 1999, but part of the track remained right the way up until 2020. And that part of the section is where we are now. But as you can sadly see, it's almost gone. If you've watched any of the previous videos we've got on this channel around the Vell, then you'll be able to see quite clearly the difference what a couple of years have made. And here ends the last remains of the Nouvelle circuit. The ground's quite soggy here, so Herman was doubtful whether he could continue or not. Herman decided to cut off the swampy section and go through the bushes like true Indiana Jones. If the police comes, I'm sure there's a fridge that you can hide in. Here's also some of the track debris too. We're now on a path next to the track. Probably the track is actually under this wall of earth. Sadly, there's not much to explore anymore, so Herman decides to head back. We jump to the beginning of the old start finish straight. As you can see, there's works going on here too for the reconstruction. So this is quite close to the police station, a little bit too risky to enter. We continue our lap by car, back to where we started this lap. But we don't end the video just here before we've shown you where the pits and the start and finish line used to be. If you want to see more footage from Lost Racing Circuits, please do subscribe to our channel. And also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. 
You can also visit the website to download a free ebook with seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. Herman? <clears throat> legally? Thank you very much, kind sir. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in our next video. Vroom, 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 vroom,